Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Dome number 25, or this 25th episode of the Operation Dome series, where my friends and I are going to case the entire world in glass and glass panes. And right now, I am alone again. It's late at night and everybody's already asleep, but regardless, I am here to show you what has been going on. So, what has been going on, really? Is that nothing new here, along with the wolves, or the status on the wolves, is that they keep despawning, and I have to look for more wolves, and then I find some wolves, and then I bring them here, and then they despawn again. It's just an endless cycle. But the reason why I do it is because I love wolves so much. Just look at that face. It's so adorable. I cannot get enough of them faces. I cannot get enough. They are so, so cute. And, I, and the weird thing is, is that I can't breed them. Oh wait, now I can breed them? Now you'll allow me to breed them? Before then, when I tried to breed them, it told me that the limit has been reached. It's so weird. You guys are weird. Oh, uh, look at the little doggy, look at the little doggy. It's so, so cute, just because of how small it is. You know what, you could go hunting with me. I'll teach you when you're young. You better start off young so they'll be a proud, strong adult. Oh, I killed it. Okay, let's see, let's see. We found some more piggies right here. If you don't die, the wolf will get you. Get over here. <laughs> it's just so tiny and so so slow. And I killed it again. Mm, okay, I'm just going to punch it. Come on, come here, little... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come here. Hit it. Attack it. Attack it. No, don't look at me. Attack, attack the piggy. There you go. There you go. You're going to be a strong adult. Don't look at me. Come on, there you go. Oh, it's so cute. Too bad I can't feed you. You're so small. Oh, that is so cute. You can follow me throughout the rest of the Let's Play. And that reminds me, let me put music on so it's just not me that's just talking. Let me have some background noises. I think this is the, yeah, it is the Mass Effect music, so something different than Minecraft. And I'm not too sure anything about about Mass Effect because I really don't play Mass Effect, so I can't tell you anything about Mass Effect. Speaking of Mass Effect, you could obviously tell that this is a Mass Effect mashup pack. So every week we will be doing a brand new texture pack. So last week, well, uh, yes and no, is that <laughs> it got a little bit out of order since the city texture pack came along, but. Every single week, it's going to be a brand new texture pack, so it's going to be something different for every episode. So, there you go. It just shows you how much time has gone by. So, let me see. Go ahead and hit this little piggy, and that piggy died. You really need to kill another animal, do you? Where did the other, where did the other piggy go? I just saw him. I am not going crazy here. I just saw him. And where are you going? I don't know. You're just, you're just venturing off. So, let's see, let us see, let us see, the cacti, the only thing I like about it is that it looks like monitors, but don't touch it, otherwise you're just going to get yourself hurt. So, for those who are new, Operation Dome is that we are going to be digging up a lot of sand and placing down grass blocks so that we can make it look pretty, otherwise in the map it will just be this one giant gray area, where's the map, there you are. So, there's a little bit of gray spots up in the north and up in the northwest. Because those are those are areas that have been dug out, but it has not been replaced by grass. So, this whole entire spot, this whole entire Iceland is going to be Greenland now. Bad pun, especially with the whole technical logic there. Never mind, I'm going to turn Greenland into Iceland. There you go. Think about it. So all the desert biomes and all the supposedly quote-unquote snow biomes are now going to turn into grass biomes. Which is going to spawn a lot of animals and as well as a lot of mobs if you were to get rid of a lot of the torches. So here we are. Attack. Don't look at me. Kill him. Kill him. Don't look at me. Go kill him. Go, 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 go. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Don't look at me. Come on. Kill him. There you go. You will be strong. You just need more practice. Okay. So let me go ahead and dig out some sand. Because this is the behind the scenes. But we have done a lot of work. Or should I say I have. Because the whole day. No one has actually been online. And usually what happens is. Is that whenever people, whenever my friends are online. That's when I could actually invite more people. Because they'll become friends with my friends. And then I'll invite them to the world. And if they don't do well. Meaning like if they try to grief or they actually just fool around not actually do any work, then that's when they actually have to leave. It's sad, but it happens. 
I've already had some people who actually just messed around in nothing, absolutely nothing, and I've already had another person just, I don't know, he, he was lost and then all of a sudden a creeper blew up and then blew up part of the tree dome which I had a rage quit over. Good thing we didn't actually have done any work that day, otherwise I would have been even more mad. So, just, it's whatever, it's whatever. Let's, let's, let's move on. Positive energy. I got to be more energetic in my videos because one person did actually get, provide me feedback. This is what I love. I love it when people provide me feedback. And his name is Manny. So you know who you are, Manny. I truly, truly appreciate it. When you made that comment, it actually made my day. It just showed that a person actually cared enough to leave some feedback for me. What the heck? I did not look at you. I did not look at you. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. No, don't, don't, don't touch me. 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 I'm gonna die. 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 Don't touch me. Don't you? Do not touch me. Go away. Go away. Go away. Do not touch me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That happened. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh it off. It's no big deal. I say it before I even did any work, so nothing, nothing. It's just, it's whatever. I don't want to go ahead and try to look for everything and then fear the worst that I may have lost something. I have a little bit of OCD, and if I don't have all my items with me, then that's when I start to freak out a bit. So it's okay. No work has really been done, which is sad, but it's true. Okay, back to Mass Effect and starting up the world. I gotta say, Mass Effect actually looks pretty, but it is not really the type of world that you want to use for a survival world. It's pretty much for the builders. And what we're building, of course, is a giant glass dome across the entire world. And once that's done, and once we clean up everything, then we will pull it up for download, and you can download it for yourself, and you can just do whatever you want with that world. I don't know what you're going to do with that world. Maybe make some buildings or something along the matters. You just already have a giant glass dome. And here's the thing. We're not going to go with a sphere. We're just going to go with a cube. Due to the fact that if we go with a sphere and something goes wrong along the matters, then we're going to have to take it down and redo it. And that is just way too much work. I don't know about you, but I would not be able to handle that. Okay. So... Yeah, not, not much. Not, nothing to worry about. Let me go go ahead and actually get some wolves again. Ah, there you are. Cute little wolfies. Okay, jump. Get up. Give you raw pork chops. That's one, and that's... Come on, get over here. Come on, get over here. Okay, now you'll make puppy, and then that puppy will follow me. Sit, sit, okay. So... I'm lost. I'm sorry. That that Enderman, I have not been fighting Endermans for quite a while because I completely failed at that part. <laughs> yes, it's just weird. What was I talking about? Ah, yes, Manny. Yeah. Thank you, Manny. Thank you for the feedback. I'm going to try to work on it. The only thing I will say and I will admit is that my tone of voice or my monotone is that I've been having this monotone voice for a very, very long time. That is how I used to speak to people. Except when I'm actually at my job where I'm talking to customers. That's a different story because I'm not really monotone when I talk to them. I have more... I don't know how would I say it. Oh, you're so cute, but I can't give you anything. I'm sorry. Don't look at me. It makes me feel guilty. Is that... I don't know how to say it. I speak in a more soft softer tone when I'm speaking to a customer I don't know but when I'm on the drive through I am loud and clear and people actually give me compliments of how loud I am so that they're able to I don't know just they're able to hear me I'm able to hear them I get the order correct and everything's fine and handy dandy just as long as there's no mispacks where am I going I'm just all over the place today I need to stay focused it's just one of those things. There's a lot of things I need to work on. And also I need to make some news later on, but that's later on. Not during this week. But one thing I'm going to actually do talk about or want to talk about is camping. Because I'm going to actually go camping with my father. Even if it's for a day. One day worth of camping, that's just good enough. And if I actually do get a long weekend, I really hope that we actually have a weekend camp going on. So that, I don't know, I get to enjoy nature. I'll bring out my video camera and... 
Let's see if I could actually find anything on film. Oh, you're so cute, doggy. Don't fall. Do not fall, though. You don't want to fall. That'd be bad if you fell. At least the AI is a little bit smart. It goes around. Just hopefully it just doesn't fall. If it falls, then I'm just going to have to heal it whenever it grows up. Just, does, just as long as you don't go in front of me while I am using my shovel. But here's the thing, though. I have no idea how that Enderman... Or how did I even stare at the Enderman? I don't know. I honestly don't know. That Enderman just came out of nowhere. Like, seriously. I was just over here and then all of a sudden I get attacked by Enderman. I'm going to have to look back at the... What's it called? Post. I'm going to have to look at the video in post-production to see how in the world did I actually stare the Enderman in the eye. I had no idea how any of that happened. That just freaked me out a bit. Because honestly, I did not want to die, especially when I had 21 levels. That would have been bad because I would have lost that le those levels and then I'm going to have to get those levels again and find all the items that were lost. I didn't really want to deal with that. I'm sorry. I took the sissy way out. But even then, with that, with those levels, it would contribute to getting a brand new shovel. And with that brand new shovel, I could go ahead and get efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. And that will help dig out a lot of the sand as you see here. And as well as the dirt. Let me hold down the trigger button because otherwise you'll just be hearing click, click, click. Even though that's faster to uh, use or not hold a button. It's faster to not hold a button than it is to hold a button. But it would be annoying if I kept clicking the trigger. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we doing here? Just look how magnificent this mountain looks. Except for that. That's going to have to be replaced by dirt. And then I'm going to have to get rid of the ice so that we can have our lakes again. We're going to make it look pretty. Before we even have you guys download it, we're going to make it look pretty. Just little by little. All I have to do is get water buckets to get rid of the ice. And as well as that, we're going to have to get some dirt or some floating blocks and put torches down to get rid of the ice. So that's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing that we're going to be doing for this world. And once it's done, it's done. And we can move on with a brand new operation. Hopefully this or the next operation will be faster. Which I'm believing that we're going to do Operation Blackout next. Which is going to be a series where we're going to encase the entire world in obsidian blocks. That's right. It's exactly the same as Operation Dome. But instead of sand, it's going to be obsidian. Because with that, it's going to pretty much block out the sun. And it's going to make the whole world dark. And it's going to look amazing. We're going to have some of the dark sides. And we're going to see a little bit more and more progress to see how much mobs will actually spawn out. And we're going to have a lot of fun killing them, especially with all the levels that we're going to get. And it's going to help us to make more enchanted tools. And with that, we'll be able to actually mine the obsidian faster. And with the obsidian mining, it's going to boost us up. Oh my god, Creeper. Don't you dare blow up. Don't you dare blow up in front of my puppy. No, bad creeper. This time I won't love you for this. I will hate you forever. Oh my, whoa, where'd you come from? You, you climbed. Just get out of here. That creeper was smart. I had no idea. I did not even see him go to the other side. Whew. God dang, they're getting smarter and smarter. Hey, is that iron? No, that's coal. Hey, I remembered. Is this my enchanted pickaxe? Yes, it is. Let me go get ahead and get that coal. Yeah, that's coal. Okay, we're good. I thought something pushed me for a second. Seriously, I'm I'm still kind of freaked out from that Enderman. man. I'm not freaked out by creepers as much. And I'm not freaked out by lava. But when it comes to Enderman, they surprise me because I had no idea where it came from. It's going to scar me. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep tonight. And what's... Oh, yeah, Enderman. Never mind. If, there, if you ever see a block in the middle of nowhere, Enderman. No ifs and or buts. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him, Wolfie. Get him. There you go. You're such a good Wolfie. And there's a creeper right there. I can't, I can't remember. Is callers or name tags going to be a thing for T14? I have not been keeping up with the news lately. I've always seen speculation videos, but I don't believe them until I actually see word from 4J. And when I do, that's when I actually make a video about it telling everybody else is like, hey, here are the facts, here are the things that is going to be updated in the game, and anyone who says otherwise, they are wrong. <laughs> it sounds mean, but still. That's the reason why I kind of dislike... Well, don't take it literally, but... This is why I don't like 
to see speculation videos. But that's just my opinion. Oh dang, I almost hit my wolfie. That would have been bad. I would have been a bad owner. I would have just... I, I don't know. I don't know what I've done. I wouldn't want to hurt you. You're so cute. Okay. That's the deal. I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone. Because whenever I'm in my monotone voice, that's my comfort zone. Honestly, it is. Because I know I'm calm. I don't actually have to do anything drastic. But when I'm trying to be entertaining, that's where I'm getting out of my comfort zone. And that's when I am afraid of how would I sound like because I don't know if this is the first time I ever actually went all out on this one but if so then I'm gonna have to see but I have to have more confidence in myself to know what I'm saying know how I am talking about and pretty much I don't know I just gotta have more com more confidence in myself so yeah self-confidence it's a thing some people have it some people don't and this is one of the things you need to build up Especially when you have to deal with angry customers all day long. It's just, it's bad. I've already had to deal with customers where, pretty much, here's the deal. They brought in two coupons. Good thing there were two people because it was one per customer. But even then, they wanted to know why did they get such a low discount. Which was, wasn't really low. I did exactly the math for them. Is that it's a, it's a half off for one product and $1.50 off for another product. So I did the math, I put it in there as a discount, it's an open discount because there's no buns for the discount. And they were trying to argue with me saying that this was a low discount, this is not the discount that they wanted. But then I even wrote on the receipt the math that I, that I figured out for that coupon to, or for the discounts to be valid. And even then, they still try to argue with me. I'm like, what do you want from me? I gave you the discount, I've given you what you wanted, and now you're trying to make a big fuss out of it. The customer is always right, but even when the math is staring them at the face, they try to get more out of it. It's just sad. It's sad. It's a sad day to see customers make a big, huge mess. Even, even, and this was on drive through too. There was a line, and one of them even had the audacity to say, "Oh, let them wait." I'm like, "Come on." Even though I didn't say that to their face, but it's like, God dang, what do you, what more do you want? You got your coupons, you got your product, the math is right there, there's no arguing against it. You just want to see if you could get the most out of it. <laughs> and then even one of the people said that, if you look closely at the little disclaimer here, it says at participating restaurants, or at any participating restaurant. So if people give you much of a fuss, then you have every right to say, sorry, we're not the participating restaurant. That made my day as well. So again, thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny, for the feedback. I read everyone's comments, but here's the deal. I don't actually respond to everyone because, of course, it's going to take forever to actually do so. If you get 10 comments in one video, another 10 comments in another video, you get, right now, I have over 700 or 800, or no, over 900 videos and if I get a comment on every single video that's 900 comments over 900 whatever and it's gonna take forever to reply to every single one of them so that's the reason why I don't always respond to them I respond to a lot of people just to show like hey I'm active I'm I'm talking to you right here and now and I won't be able to actually answer everyone so do not take it do not take it personal if I don't respond to you just let me put it as that Oh, you're so, oh, poor Wolfie, you can't swim in the current. You're just not strong enough to swim in the current. Oh, that's so adorable. I can't get enough of wolves. I love wolves so much, especially in Minecraft. But if they have foxes, if they ever have foxes as an animal in Minecraft, I'm going to choose a brand new favorite, and then the wolves are going to hate me, and they're going to attack me, but I don't care. I love foxes so much. My life goal is to, or one of them at least, is to own a fox. And I can't wait for that day to happen. I'm going to be saving up money and I'm going to pretty much have like a backyard dedicated to have to have a fox as our own. Some of them as a some you can actually get some of them in the USA, but you're going to have to be on a waiting list because there's some people who actually want to get foxes. And if they are there before you, then it's not going to be good. Although I could actually get one imported from Russia, but here's the deal. It's going to take six months for you to get your fox, and there's no guarantee that's going to be in good health once it arrives. Because you're going to have to ship it over airline, and then that course of the whole entire timeline of 
them getting to you, the fox will have to be put to sleep for that timeline. So as soon as I get the fox, I'm going to be having to take it to the vet and see if everything is okay. And they even have policies if your fox were to die during the delivery or if your fox dies within the first month or first year you've gotten it. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to have to move over there, live there for a while, and then take it back first class myself. And I will do that. I don't care what anyone has to say about that. If I have the money, then why not? Seriously, people spend money on stupid things. You guys know, you've seen people spend money on stupid things. You see it all the time on YouTube and everything else. Where am I going? Ah, yes, I'm trying to go get some dirt. And I don't have any hunger with me, so... I'm not going to look at the wolf. I'm not going to look at the wolf. I'm not going to look at the wolf. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, you fell. Now can I heal you? There you go. There you go. Yeah, you're all good. <laughs> I felt so bad. I just turned around to see the wolf fall. I'm such a bad owner. Come on. You can do it. This is exercise for you. And besides, you can teleport. You'll be fine. Come on. Come on. Teleport. There you go. See, it's all fine. <laughs> I just love wolves so much. I can never get enough of them. If I ever do the Minecraft series on PC, you're going to bet a lot of money. You could bet all your money that I'm definitely going to get a wolf. And if anyone who says otherwise, then congratulations. You won the bet. <laughs> Take all the money that they put in. Okay. Now this looks kind of weird. So let me see. That is sandstone. That is gravel. That is, of course, stone. So I got to go all the way over here for some dirt. Here's the deal. We're going to be making a lot of spots like empty. If a creeper were to blow up, you could come down here and then you'd be good to go. You just go mine. And apparently there's a sheep above us. Ah, well, it's fine. We don't need to worry about that. And I can't wait to show you guys the leaderboards as of March 31st of 2014 because it's going to be a little bit high. Just not not yet to the thousands. Hopefully I'll be able to reach there. But if not, then that's okay because the next month I'm going to be past that. Just right now. Oh wait, I, I got to hold it. I keep forgetting. Just the work and the time. Just, just the thing. I just don't have much time. I usually get at least a good two to three hours before I have to go to work and then when I come back home, what I want to do is work on the videos, especially for the Let's Plays that I've been doing. I honestly enjoy Let's Plays. That's just me to have fun. What is this? Oh, okay, never mind. Like, with the Let's Plays, I get to be a little bit more myself. I get to be a little bit more silly than I do in my Minecraft videos. And again, I'm working on it. Again, thank you, Manny, for the feedback. I read your guys' comments, even the troll comments. I even partake in answering the troll comments. Maybe I'll make a brand new series just pretty much laughing at the troll comments. You gotta have a laugh somewhere. This guy still is actually answering me to this day. I don't know, I think it's been like almost a week. And then another guy who actually trolled me, he actually stopped. I'm like, aww. You just, all he did was just kept saying the same thing over and over and over again. But, hey, he didn't get anything new to the table. So it's like, eh, you're boring now. That's just how I see it. Sometimes you just gotta have a laugh or two. But, again, not everyone could actually handle it. So, just, why? 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 Okay, that was random. Someone put a birch wood in here. Okay. I'll accept that. I'm not going to argue with it. It's there. Now I have it. It's all good. Okay. So let me see. Dirt. This is going to be a dirt paradise. It's Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock is going to help me a lot with, with dirt. Operation Dome is going to help me out with the sand. And even with the leaderboards update, you're going to see exactly how much sand I've actually dug up. Because I have not dug up any sand in Operation Bedrock, except for one block. But that was in a different world. I've only dug up one sand block. So whatever the total amount of sand I dug up, subtract by one, and that's how much sand I've actually dug up during Operation Dome. Which is going to be great. I got to get rid of a block. Hey, stone. Okay, that'll work. Put you right here. There you go. Wait. 
this is stone. Then what's the other spot? I am not gonna think. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm just not gonna overthink it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. So let's see. We got this block here, and then I am full. I could hurry up and work on the land a bit. Oh hey. There you go. Sorry, I don't want to leave a block behind. No block gets left behind. Ah. <sighs> this is pretty good. I gotta keep this energy up. I gotta keep this energy up for all of my videos. Especially my Let's Play. Just want to tell you though, ahead of time with my brand new Let's Play that's after Legend of Zelda, that is going to be the first Let's Play that I've actually done a live commentary. What you see on Super Mario 64, that is my second ever Let's Play solo commentary after a long while because for the longest time I've been doing a co-op Let's Play with Kyle. And then Kyle left to do his own thing. He's going to be having his own career to worry about. So I'm not going to ask him to join me in my videos. Unless he absolutely wants to. If he does, then great. Special appearance here and there. If not, then that's okay. So, as far as I know, I'm going to have to look for one of my other friends to actually join me. That's what we're, we're trying to work at. Since my friends have audacity, and we could possibly be playing the same game together at the same time. We could probably do a dual Let's Play over on Xbox Live. And they could send me over their clips of their actual commentary recording from Audacity. And then from there, I could actually work on it to put into the video. And it'll be like they're literally standing right next to me. Or sorry, sitting next to me. Talking with me at, at this very same time. So it's going to be nice. It's going to be a little bit more professional. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to do the dual screens because it's going to take a lot of time to actually transfer the files. But even then, they themselves have their own capture card so that it could be my point of view and their point of view on separate channels. So it'll work out for everyone so that their videos could get views and we could help each other out. It's going to be great. I'll send them my part of the commentary. They'll sync it in as well and then everything's going to be great from there. It's just the time factor is going to be the biggest deal that I've said this more than one occasion, but some people still don't get it. It happens, people. It happens. Sometimes they watch one video, but they don't watch the other video. So this is how I actually reach out to everyone. But here we go again. Deja vu is that when I go to work, of course, I can't make a video while I'm at work. But when I get home, I fell. But when I get back home... They're either asleep or they're just doing something else that they're not online for, which usually they're on PC or something, some, something matters of that. But when I wake up in the morning or in the afternoon, depending on how much I slept, they are at school. Until summer break comes along, they're going to be busy, I'm going to be busy, and that's the main reason why we haven't gotten as much work as we want to being done in Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock. It's just a matter of life. And it's a fact of life. We all are busy with our own things. So that's why it really, really sucks until summer break comes along. And this is why I really wanted to have this as pretty much the main source of income. But I'm not going to rely on it. You always got to have a backup plan. This is why I'm probably going to be going... I fell again. I'm probably going to be going back to school. And as well as that, I'm still probably going to maintain a part-time job. So, you got to have a backup plan no matter what you do. Unless that I'm getting so much income from YouTube, I could sustain myself for a while. Then I possibly don't have to get a part-time job, but I could still go back to school and then work on videos. And then just go on with my life, see whatever happens. So, I got a lot on my plate. Just don't take it for granted. If you're still young and you're still going to school, don't take it for granted. Because time is a big factor. Once that time is up, then you're going to see how busy life can actually be. So until then, enjoy it while it lasts. So let me see, we got... Hey, you grew up! <gasps> My puppy! It grew up to a full-grown wolf! How you doing? No, he's so cute. Really? Okay. Just just stay there. You don't have to be up here. That reminds me. I still gotta actually put a wolf on top of the glass biome. 
or sorry, glass dome. See if how well they actually survive up there. I just want to know. I want to know if it's actually possible. I just got to do it at open water. So if they do fall or they do push me off, at least we'll be able to land in the water and not die. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. There you go. You're smart. Did you? Okay, you didn't get hurt. So you could just you could just sit there for a while, and if anything attacks me, you could protect me, and then I'll give you more steak because I spoil I spoil all my dogs like that. <laughs> I just get, randomly give them food. Even if the breeder thing or breeding thing is max, I still give them food because I just love seeing the hearts. Okay, question. Do you guys still have the mashup pack of Mass Effect or do you not? I just want to know. I just want to know if people actually still use it every now and then. It's like, it's cool and all, but it's just not really that ideal. They could have done a little bit more with it. It's just the first mashup pack and everybody wanted to get it due to the fact that it was the first mashup pack. But once they got it, it was like, uh, not so great. There's no refunds though. So it's like, they got to deal with it. Either they use it or they just let it sit there and collect dust and memory. Even though it's not that much memory, but still it's memory. And then put the torches down. It will be making it look pretty. There you go, there you go, all is handy dandy. Ah, it looks so pretty. Don't you agree? Can't wait for name tags, if there's ever going to be name tags. So I can name all my wolves, and they said, or someone said, that if you were to name your wolves, they will never despawn. So, if that were to be true, you will never despawn again. Sad thing is that, once I put you next to the other wolves, it's going to be, it's going to be hard to tell you the difference between you and every other wolf. I don't know, I'm just talking to myself. That's what mainly a commentary is. Just talking by yourself. And as well as trying to invite people into a conversation. But again, that's what the Let's Plays are for. I love doing Let's Plays. They're so, so much fun. I can't wait to do the very next Let's Play once another Let's Play is done. I get to work on Let's Plays. With the Let's Plays, I l literally do at least... Four to six episodes. The most I've ever done, I believe, was ten episodes. So that gave me ten days to relax. Once I actually rendered everything, I scheduled upload them. That gave me ten days to relax and not worry about missing an upload date. Because I upload every single day. I do. The thing that I need to do more, though, is making a Minecraft video every single day. Eventually, I will get to that. I've already have some ideas I want to do and some ideas that I still need to do and I still need to finish the things I promised I said I would do. So there's a lot of videos. There's a lot of video ideas that I'm going to do and I'm probably going to revamp the ideas a bit so that it'll be better. So stay tuned for that whenever I get around to it. So let me light up this area so no more mobs will spawn in there, especially the creepers, because I really don't want the creepers to blow up anything. I'll handle any other mob, like this one for instance. Serpentine, 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 get out of here. Stupid skeleton trying to shoot me off. That's just, that's just bad. Although I do like the arrows. They look pretty. Then we put that torch right there, that torch right there, and... Oh yeah, this is the zombie spawner. I'm pretty sure I showed this in another episode, but that's the zombie spawner. <sighs> I got this giant hole to fill with dirt blocks. But until then, this is going to be the end of this episode. So hopefully this was entertaining enough, and hopefully this was better than my last commentary. I'm going to be working on it. Don't worry about it, people. I'm going to work on it. So, look at that. That is so, so beautiful. The reason why I haven't actually shown you, well, I can show you right now. I don't mind. I will show you right now. I did say that I've been doing a lot of work, but it isn't towards the glass ceiling. It was actually t being towards the collection of the birch wood, making the charcoal, collecting the sand, making to that glass blocks. That is what I've been working on for a while now. And I completely forgot to show you guys in the beginning. This is what I wanted to show you guys. To show you guys that we are making progress one way or another. Okay, you'll sit right here. You'll be my wolfie that will join me in, of course, the commentaries for Operation Dome. So go over here, excuse me, and let's count how many chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, third block. Almost 13. Almost 13. These two chests are being filled with sand, but almost 13 chests full of sand. Or, sorry, glass. Now, let me pull out the calculator. So, let me see. It is... Go to tools, calculator, nine rows, or nine spots in each row. And the, there are six rows. That is 54. 54 slots times 64, which is the amount of stacks you, or the amount of 64 blocks in a stack. So that is 3,456. And let's round it up to 13. I have right now... Well, I could subtract by 128 just to be more legitimate. So subtract 128. I have 44,800 blocks of glass. I am set to fill up that little bit of a rectangle right there and to work more on another spot. So I am set to go. So that is it for today. Hopefully that everything was all well. Let me go review my commentary, and if it's good, well, of course, if it's good, you're going to see it. And even then, this is more of a practice for me to see how well I sound if I am more loud. Even then, I'll edit everything, but we don't want, I don't want to bore you with the details. Till then, have a great day, everyone. I am SorkIn0990, and as always, I will see you in the next video. I hit the cursor. It, it just, there you go. Or right there? No. This is better. Somewhat. I don't know. Goodbye, everyone.